Hello everybody. Welcome to hrpreparation.com. This video is specially made for MBA HR freshers. This video will make you understand the career opportunities with UGC Net. So UGC Net is a single platform to choose many career options. So let's get started. Now here we'll be seeing the PSU recruitment about lectureship and about JRF or Junior Research Fellowship. So let's see what we have. Now coming to what is UGC NTA Net. Now coming to UGC or University Grant Commission. So let's see about UGC or University Grant Commission. The University Grant Commission is a government agency and it was established by an Act of Parliament in 1956. This was mainly established for the coordination, determination and maintenance of standards of higher education. This was founded in the year 1956. The head office of UGC is located at the Bahadur Shah Zafar Marg in New Delhi. And it also has six regional offices which are located in Bengaluru, Bhopal, Gauhati, Hyderabad, Kolkata and Pune. Now coming to what is NET or National Eligibility Test. So NET or National Eligibility Test is being conducted by the University Grants Commission or UGC with the help of NTA that is National Testing Agency. The NET exam was conducted by the UGC in December 1989 and again in the year of March 1990 for both lectureship and junior research fellowship. So basically NET is a test to determine the eligibility for college and university level lectureship and also for JRF. NET or NET is being conducted two times in a year. NET is eligible for lectureship, JRF and also for PSU recruitment. So this aims to ensure the minimum standards for the entrance in teaching profession and research. And it started in the year of 1989 to 1990. Now coming to NTA or the National Testing Agency. So NTA is a statutory body which has been approved by the Union Cabinet that is approved by the Union Council of Ministers and was established in November 2017. So this was established in order to conduct the entrance exam for higher educational institutions. NTA conducts entrance exams like UGC NET, that is for lectureship, JRF, PSU recruitment, for engineering entrance exam such as JEE, medical entrance exam that is NEET, management entrance exam CMAT, and pharmacy entrance exam GPAT. Now coming to the career opportunities associated with N NTA UGC NET. Now the candidates who have qualified in the above tests are grouped into two separate merit lists. That is JRF list and the NET list. The candidates who scored well and are in the first merit list will be awarded the Junior Research Fellowship and if they have chosen the option for NET or lectureship during application filling, 
they will be awarded with lectureship also. And those who have filled or chosen NET while filling the application and are in the second merit list will be awarded the lectureship, that is N NET. Same score is considered for PSU exams also. Now coming to PSU recruitment. So PSU, that is public sector undertaking, NTA UGC NET is the best platform for post qualification that is after master's degree. Public sector undertaking considers the score in UGC NET exam. HRD Ministry and UGC NET agreed to give permission to PSUs to take scoring for their recruitment. So whoever qualifies the UGC NET can directly apply to participate in the PSUs and there is no written test for the candidates who has already qualified the UGC NET and the candidate will be called up for personal interview directly as a part of the recruitment process. PSUs are offering salary packages more than the MNCs. The salary package range in PSUs ranges from 8 lakhs to 12 lakhs per annum. After post-graduation, getting a job in private sector is difficult. But if you have qualified the NTA UGC net, it becomes easy to settle in the PSUs with high salary packages. EDCIL or Education Consultation India Limited is a part of HRD Ministry and is a human research consultancy service for PSUs that is IIT, IIM, KV, NV. So earlier PSUs recruitment notification through NTA UGC net for HR has been given here. So these are the organization names and the year when the notification was released. There is ONGC in year 2019, Power System Operation Corporation Limited 2019, Vizac Steel again 2019 and in the year 2018, MRPL and Power Grid Corporation of India Current PSU's recruitment notification through NTA UGC NET for HR is coming soon. The list of PSU's, if you see, there are 10 Maharatna companies in India, 14 Navaratna companies in India, 61 Mini Ratna categories 1 CPSEs and there are 12 Mini Ratna category 2 CPSEs. For more details about PSU's, there is a link there is an article link given in the description and you can refer the article now coming to lectureship lectureship is a better opportunity for students who are willing to settle in the academic field wide range of opportunities are available in state universities central universities deemed universities and premier institutions So the option to pursue a career in teaching field, in private colleges or institutions or deemed universities, in government colleges or universities, and coming to the academic opportunities as assistant professor, associate professor, professor, senior professor, head of the department and dean. And if you see the salary packages, at initial stage, the salary ranges from 25,000 to 40,000 or more and it will also depend on the university or the institutions. So this is about lectureship.
now coming to junior research fellowship or jrf those who are willing to pursue research for them jrf is the right option qualifying candidate can choose phd from university or institution or deemed university with respective postgraduate subject So the JRF has an option to pursue research in the respective postgraduate field. And after qualifying JRF, there is a need to enroll for a PhD course and the fellowship is given for 5 years. So the first 2 years, the fellowship will be of 25,000 plus HRA and the next 3 years, the fellowship will be of 28,000 plus HRA. So there is two years validity for regular PhD. Post PhD is Senior Research Fellowship or SRF. Now coming to the academic opportunities. So there are two academic opportunities. First is as the JRF or Junior Research Fellowship or Scholar and next is the Senior Research Fellowship. Next is independent, that is you can have your own research or you can train others. Next comes in organization. As project fellowship, senior project fellowship, project associate, senior associate, authors or senior author, project author. So this is about the JRF and the academic opportunities or opportunities associated with JRF. Now coming to the UGC job portal. There is another opportunity through the UGC job portal. So here you need to register as a candidate. The UGC will post vacancies which are available in the universities or institutions or colleges and they will contact the registered candidate for filling the vacant positions. So this is the site which you can go on. So this shows the academic jobs for NET or SET or PhD qualified candidates. So do visit this link. So these were the career opportunities with UGC NET. Hope this video will help the unemployed youth to choose right career option. If you feel this video will help students and unemployed youth, please do share in your WhatsApp groups and also on other social media in order to create awareness. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Do not forget click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. Like, comment and share. See you next time.